Hey all, Finks here, and today you're gonna take me to your leader. He is back. Leader has been buffed and kind of just changed as this new identity. He's now a 602 power with on reveal copy the enemy cards with the highest power played this turn, but on your side. He used to copy all the cards. Now he only copies the highest power cards and you just kind of have to work out ways that you can limit what your opponent plays or just be far enough ahead where it works out because you're only getting two power from the card itself. You're just relying on what your opponent plays. And now some people are going to do some Sandman stuff. Some people might just put him on the top end of a good cards deck. What we decided to build was what I like to call Leader Wave. There's a very fascinating deck recently coming out called Doom Wave, which kind of replaces the early parts of Death Wave, which is good card stuff, and then uses Doom and She-Hulk with wave after wave on five to have just this really powerful play. We replace Doom and some of the good cards to make it our own uh, with this version of the list. So what we want to do is play the wave on five, which will float two energy to get our She-Hulk down to two and be able to play leader as well for four energy. Super, super powerful combo if you can pull it off very very hard for your opponent to beat and then the rest of the deck is just good cards that can fight for priority disrupt our opponent and otherwise find ways to win in the one drop slot we have sunspot just still really strong in any deck that has she hulk to soak up that energy iceman a absolute core one drop just gets a little bit of disruption for us play it on any turn in the two drop slot uh, scorpion was a star of the deck scorpion diff uh, which is just having the difference of a little bit of power from lowering your opponent's cards Came into play a lot. Absolutely wonderful card. Probably underutilized right now, which is crazy because he's starting to be everywhere. Uh, and then Lizard, just a, another powerhouse two drop. We had a very interesting line of Mr. Fantastic on three into Crossbones on four. So Mr. Fantastic attacking all three lanes. Going to give us at least one lane with priority to have this very strong tempo play come out on turn four. Crossbones is a four energy eight power. It says you can only play this at locations where you're winning. Kind of a star of the show. I mean, he really put me ahead in a lot of these games. I'm really interested to try them out. I think it's a really underutilized card. Uh, we have Wave for the aforementioned combo. Chavez is going to help us get Wave a bit earlier uh, on average because getting Wave on five is very important for the deck. So I think Chavez is really, really great with this. Uh, and then Polaris, great for disruption, really good stats for the cost. The last card is Shang-Chi, which I was considered getting rid of uh, with Shuri nerfed. Seeing less and less just really big cards getting played. Uh, and especially with this deck, Sometimes the, the big cards that are getting played aren't until like the very last turn. So Chong Chi feels a little bit off. I think he's going to drop a bit in play rate. Let me know if you're seeing the same with the meta. Uh, overall, I thought that this deck was a lot of fun. I don't think it's better than the Doomwave deck. The leader doesn't work in this deck, I think, as well as I truly wanted him to. Could be just luck of the draw, the the, the matches that I got over the four hours. But I think Doomwave is going to rave supreme. Uh, I'm interested to try leader in some other decks. Let me know as well down below what you're doing with leader. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please make sure to hit the like button. It really helps out. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please check down below. You can subscribe for daily Marvel Snap content and catch you live at twitch.tv slash binks underscore plays. Enjoy. Wasp and Yellowjacket were both in the original iteration of the game. Not infinite? I'm not. Are you? Okay, we'll pretty much have priority and miniaturized lab the rest of the game. Interestingly enough, you lose. What do you mean by that? Such a weird thing to say. Ghost value with leader for sure. No, some. Uh, is it always good to go second? I think there's a varietal of different ways that it's good and bad. We're just gonna take our Sean. I feel like with this deck, you're just a tempo machine. You just wanna. You just wanna take your Sean when it's available. Ghost matters because if you don't have priority, your opponent plays first, and if their cards have effects. So in, in the case of the last game, they played a 3-3 Mystique, and I copied it before it flipped, so I had to copy an unchanged Mystique. But it, had I copied their changed Mystique that copied the Iron Man, I would have won. Okay. Um, I still think we wave here. It's not ideal, but it does kind of slow what they're going to do down. If they're doing a Morbius play, 
car. They're worldly of Hella here. A pretty good chance they have Hella, huh? That's very scary for us. Quite scary for us. You know, I'm a big fan of win all three lanes profit, so at some points this might be the play. However, if they play another card middle, we're in a bit of trouble. There's an argument that Polaris Rite is an interesting choice to pull the Morbius off of this location, thus not allowing the Lizard to flip. Um, however, if they get one more discard this turn, this goes to six. We're still ahead there. Uh, obviously, if they have Hella, we're just dusted, right? They Hella have Hella? And they just took like that Lady Sif random play on turn five? Two cards left in deck. You can stop using strategy and just go back to playing leader on six. So true. So true. Try right, this. Say so if you get Hella, you have Hella. Very nice. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Scorp diff, by the way. I hate Captain Marvel, dude. The card is so scary. <laughs> I hate Captain Marvel. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I I like Chavez. I think Chavez is really important to get you the wave. Getting the wave is the most. Getting a wave on five is how this deck wins. So the more wa the more chances you have to have wave on five, the better. So I think that Chavez is a a good play uh, in these decks still. I'm actually, I'm not sure Fanboy Clay. I don't know who takes precedent between the three of them and how, how all that uh, shenanigans will work. This is a really bad situation. But maybe this gets us ahead middle. Plus three. Ugh. Can't even play crossbones, man. Actually horrible. But... That might be okay, because they're they're a dump deck. They're trying to dump dump a bunch of dump dump a bunch of Garbaggio. The very end of the game. And if we wave them, they won't be able to. So it all depends on how crazy they go this turn. Uh we're gonna wave off of the raft. Here actually. I also missed our um missed our leader. Uh we'll keep the scorpion in hand. So they might play the zero cost six drop on the raft to get an additional raft trigger. Well, we'll have to see. He has no counter now. I mean, who was countering Leech by sniping him with Cosmo in turn five? I feel like that just wasn't really a thing. Maybe it was. I, I don't know, man. Come on, play Falcon. I dare you. Yeah. No Falcon either. I mean, there's a world we can win this. Just go double nine, right? Kind of depends on what he got from the raft. They can't Sean, Sean me, which is really important. So if they got a bigger, <laughs> I mean, we're just betting on what they got from the raft because if they don't have something that's bigger than nine. I don't think they can win. You want me to Sean Wright? Go. Oh, ooh, that's actually kind of an interesting idea. I actually, I really like this. This deck wouldn't run Arrow. This deck doesn't have the space for Arrow. Kind of like this a lot. Nice. Yo. Very smart play. That one goes out the chat, dude. That one goes out the chat.
Scorp right, Fantastic Nid. Let's see where we want to go with this Polaris. Keep Sean Swap Crossbones? Crossbones is great, dude. Why do you guys think I need to change the deck? I don't understand, dude. People are so weird. The face was nothing but Sandman, and it's tough. Ooh. Spooky. I could just like Polaris Sunspot and then just pass. Pretty possible that's my play. They could have Juggernaut here, which which is a bit rough. But they don't have anything else anywhere else. Ooh. Very spooky. However, we have a nuclear option. So we can say that there is a chance that our opponent is going to want to play Killmonger here, but we're going to say you're not allowed to. Now they can play two cards. It's spooky. Playing two cards here is indeed a bit spooky. So we have to assume Skillmonger is one of these cards, right? So we just cannot win left. Even if we soak any amount, they're going to Skillmonger the, the Sunspot away, right? Um, we can also imagine that there's a decent chance um, that we're going to get into some Sean trouble. So this Crossbone could come in handy if we want to Crossbones one location. So let's say Skillmonger is coming down, right? If Skillmonger comes left, they're going to be tied. Uh, they're actually be ahead because of the Sarah. The other card I could imagine would be a Sean. I could see them dumping them both middle if I'm being a uh, hundred with you. I think Sean Killmonger middle. If I was the opponent, that would that's what I would play, expecting my opponent to play She Hulk middle. So therefore, we're gonna play She Hulk right because they can't just Sean right; they only tie. And then Crossbones middle, thus winning middle because their Sean is not enough to get over top. Not what I was expecting. I guess Surfer makes a lot of sense too, right? Maybe Sean was a bit of a pipe dream. We take those though. Let's get a She-Hulk, we'll snap. Their name is Rip Arrow. Foils only. Dot com. Ooh. Spoopy. Spoopy chat. I think we have a uh, Mr. Negative on, on three game on our hands. How do you not snap on Mr. Negative on three? Just a rock slide. Very weird. No Zabu, so we, we should be able to wave with impunity here. My collection level, it's like 11, I think, something. 11k. Why does Chad always call Snipe? Uh, I've talked about this like a lot, but uh, the the re what I think that stems from is um, Kriparian was in the Hearthstone community was one of the biggest card game streamers of all time, I would say. Um, had a huge problem on a stream of uh, stream snipers. And thus, uh, because there was such a insanely huge problem with stream snipers, uh, he would always get called out uh, that, that, or he would always call out that he was getting stream sniped. Uh, and that was true for, for the most part, because he was getting stream sniped. But um, uh, because of that case happening, we always have to remember the Sunspot's going to go by two. Uh, it kind of caused a lot of people to talk about snipers and has caused, I feel like, a lot of uh, card game watchers and card game um, content creators to think that most things are snipers. I try to be as lax about snipers as possible. Uh, about like trying to like call out or, or suggest that someone's sniping. What do you think about this?
win all three lanes profit. I think this is my strongest play. Uh oh, no, chat! Chat, they're adding more rocks. The Dark Hawk grows. Just kidding. In your face. He's dead. The dead Dark Hockey piece. Yeah, right now wasn't super worried about. But it's all about winning all three lanes. Win all three lanes profit, you're, you're gonna feel good. I'm keeping it a stack with you. I'm not, I'm not that worried right now. I did not buy Jeff and I probably will not. I just hope to open it eventually. Wait, I have a bunch of credits. We should, we should spend some credits after this game. Leader only made an impact when you got Death Leader, She Hulk, and lost. I have, <laughs> I think I have lost more, more more than I've won when playing leader. I think that this is a this is a fact. Crossbones off the rip. Oh, the She-Hulk though. We'll snap. Flores. No. Let's leave space to just go psycho. Let's leave space to just go insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain! You guys think about that did you like it love to hear your thoughts unbelievably rude of my opponent by the way i don't know if you guys are seeing this you hated it oh man just, i'm just out here trying my best i'm just out here trying to have a good time man Yeah, leader would be great in same man ramp. I think leader you could probably like replace leech with. Because leech is not nearly as good in that deck anymore. Sucks to be ahead because they could Sean potentially, but I don't think it wins. We could also, they might be Dooming here, but I don't think Doom is going to be enough. Now, Doom isn't going to win left or middle. Jeez. Nice! Once again, no leader to be found. Score? Titan opens up some things with Wave that are pretty cool. Yo, I've never seen Jeff before. Fog. Oh. Leader won a game tonight, I don't want to talk about it. Stop asking. Why would I put a lizard against a uh, armor? That's just that's just silliness. It's simply silliness. Okay, I think we play crossbones middle here. Hopefully we get the wave. The wave is very strong here. You don't even need the She-Hulk kind of crazy. Big cards. Move the crossbones wherever you please. Don't really care too terribly much. Negasonic, huh? All right? You weirdo. You fucking weirdo, mate. Just keep just keep dropping big power. Big power tends to be pretty good. Cross punches the nuts. He feels good. He's been one of the better cards in the deck. Sometimes you can do a bit of a jam. Uh, you can get a bit annoying, but uh, most of the times we're feeling pretty good. I don't know why the opponent's snapping, but I'm kind of kind of chill. Yo, GG's man. Everyone in his chat was telling me I could beat you, and they were wrong. Snap of the opponent. Uh. I always love giving him a snap back like that. Look at that. Leader won the game this time. Leader was on the board. Look at that. Leader won a game, chat. Fog. Quentin Tarantino Beast. Anyone got it? Quentin Tarantino Beast? You guys know what I mean? Sorry, I forgot his name. There we go. There's That's a plus two right there. That's a plus two if I ever see one. All right, big money. Oh, 
The green curvy dude. I just kind of go by the vibes of how many ones and twos there are, you know? Oh, that looks nice, chat. I think we were correct, because then you get the swirly, twirly gumdrops in the background. Oh, yeah. How does it work now? Right here. TVA, huh? Wave leader always wins. How does the opponent possibly beat wave leader? I literally cannot think of a single way that they beat this. Time's up. Thanks for the doom, bud. Ah! <laughs> you peace. Never! He was so sure that his doom would be enough, but what about doom with plus two power, you piece? It destroyed. Oh, chat! We have wave! Let's go! This man is a hater? I know. I want my hater arc. Inks isn't a crypto, bro. What gave it away, man? Think says this while spending a hundred on a Throg variant. You think that's what I spent the hundred the hundred on, or do you think it was to open thirteen collectors caches and get Sentry? It really makes you think. And I got three thousand tokens, which is more than half of an NFT. So really, who's the winner? Okay, make sure you don't play Lizard on Onslaught Citadel like a like a noob. We'll just, we'll just keep the scorpion army coming. They might be Yandu armying me, but they don't realize that it's bad. Unless they have Null. Or they hit She-Hulk, which is the most important card in my deck. Peace. Okay. You can keep Yanduing me. I really don't care if you Yandu me. So, so don't buy a new card, buy ultimate variants instead. <laughs> I'd rather have an ultimate variant than Ghost, Snowguard, Shanna, etc. I don't I don't disagree there. Believe you me. Believe you me, my friend. Uh what do you guys think? Just wave uh wave into leader profit? <laughs> Lizard on onslaught, big chat energy. I mean, they might just keep yandering me and thinking that it's good. For some reason. That's a big dinosaur. I really hope they don't have Mystique for that dinosaur. Uh, I really hope they don't have Mystique for that dinosaur. So we're just going to believe in our heart of hearts that they don't. And then we will be happy. I don't know. Why do they have Yondu in their deck chat? Is this an Agent 13 card? It was indeed. They got an Agent 13 card and they proceeded to play it every turn between turns 2 and 4. Kind of sick, dude. Kind of respect that, man. Just on the Dino. That was a pretty good play, but I kind of like my play. Uh, I like my play better. Kind of like my play a little bit better. Why do they have a Null in their deck? Wait, why do they have this? This isn't in their deck. Why do they, why do they have Null? <laughs> What the hell? Why is this just in their deck? <laughs> they, played, they played a randomly generated Yandu three times. The only reason this Null is in their deck is because of their randomly generated Yandu. If they're Galactus, why do they have Age of 13 and Devil Sword in their deck, man? What the hell is going on? Well, it's not really lying, it's just, uh... I don't know. 
you know. It's a cool, cool dino. I'm really happy too, man. Sure, their leader would copy Titanium due to her base power being higher. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how any of that shit works, man. It's been very confusing. We already had the really... We already had the really ridiculous one. Oh, no! Scorpion refuted, chat. Scorpion's been retreating. I'm not lying, it's just, you know, lying. Well, no, I'm not lying. I'm not saying that I have those variants. I just put them in the thumbnail. You're right about Jeff. Two thumbs down. I let the Dexter do. He thinks he's the best card in the whole game. Yo, Shuri. Oh. If it's Vision, it's a little scary. But outside of Vision, I think we're, we're feeling mighty fine. Atara snap It's vision, it's a bit spooky. But everything else we just murder next turn with Sean. I can't snipe, but I have, I have priority. But luckily, chat, I still have priority, which means their taskmaster doesn't work. Which is good. And what's the rule, chat? Win all three lanes profit! That should be like a little thing that we all do as a chat together. What do you guys think? What would you feel about that? What would you feel if like, um... Uh, when we got into these turn six situations, we all, all said that together, like as a chance. Like, kind of like Wheel of Fortune, but it's win all three lanes profit! Your thoughts? Merch? Nice Taskmaster. Let me know in the YouTube comments if you guys like the, the chant. And if and if you guys will uh, uh, sing that sing that with me every single time. Oh dude, the YouTube the YouTube the YouTube people are stoked, man. Y'all, let's go. All right, that's the new thing. Now, anytime if you're watching this YouTube video and you want to comment on a YouTube video and, and I ever say, win all three lanes profit, then you just put that in all caps in the in the comments. Look at that. Look at that. All, all four of us on each team, we each built a different archetype deck. So we didn't have like rules of how much could like be over the other ones, but we all just decided to do different decks. Uh, so like Loopy brought a really cool Null Negasonic deck. Um, Lammy brought like a Jane Lockjaw deck, but for me and Cam Best, um, I had my full, I had my full Dino Hawk list, my full infinite Dino Hawk list, except for Shang Chi. Um, but then I was like, uh, ooh. So I had the whole Dino Hawk list except for Shang-Chi, but I knew that um, Cam Best really likes Patriot. So I decided to bring Rogue. Oh. I just want to do this. But only ties mid is the problem. Maybe I can Polaris later. I can do like a crazy Polaris later, maybe? Do this turn six? What do I do the rest of the game? You would Polaris left for no, I can't give them more space here. If I give them more space, then then the Mr. Fantastic loses that lane. Do it now. What is he cooking? 
Either got a Sean or a She Hulk. Then I just put, if I would get Crossbones, ooh, Crossbones is the best pickup. I do Crossbones, and then I do Wave, and then I do She-Hulk Polaris. Then we profit. It's a bot? Their hand is full, chat. This is not a, bot would not pass. This is not a bot. You guys are crazy if you think this is a bot. This is not a bot. <laughs> It's just a psychopath. And then we win right in the middle. Wait, there is a chance that we pull the squirrel. It's only 25, it's only 20% chance. He's a genius! Oh no, wait, it could be... No, it could be Doom? Ah! <laughs> uh. Very nice. That was a great game right there.